Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on one of these Parkside cordless multi tool purpose 20 volts. So, as you can see here, we have the box, and we'll just unbox it kind of as we go. I'm actually gonna show all four sides on. So, front, the top here, it says. It'll go a little bit slower. So, accessories. I'll, sh I'll go further in depth as of the uh, accessories in the box later. We have pictures on how to use each one of them. Uh, top, this is classical, classic Parkside handle. Pretty much the classic Parkside box. Back, uh, like the under, under. Um, yeah, I can't really flip that left right side and that's about it um, yeah let's open it up so one thing that annoys me about these boxes is why would you make a tool that's pretty good but make the box look like awful like let me go a bit a, a bit a little bit closer like Look here, look how it's like nicely, and here, how the gap is like f much further, but towards the side it gets even worse, like, look at that, awful, absolutely awful to be honest. Why can't you just spend like five minutes making the box better, it's going to be, look so much nicer. Okay, let's zoom out. So, let's open it up, actually, from this side. And here is the tool. Actually, how am I gonna fit this in ho the whole frame? Yeah, this, this works, yep. So, as you can see, we have the vacuum attachment, uh, elbow, for the attachment here, manual, um, as you can see here, it's pretty good, place in the box for the manual, and the tool itself, it's a pretty nice tool to be honest. But we'll go further in depth with that one. Uh, in this, uh, like in the ancient here, we have a box with parkside on top. And inside are a couple of attachments that you can use. So, let's go over them, shall we? So, this is an attachment that can be used with each one of these, uh, not this, each one of these senders here. Each one, uh, there's two types, specifically in this box, there's two types, each with different types of grid, like this one. Uh, we have this one, which I'm not really sure about this one, I think it's about cutting, uh, like metal and stuff and we have this one for cutting wood as you can see here are some measurements and we have another one here so let's put these all in the boxes uh we'll do kind of like a test with each one of them in a couple of seconds like a couple of minutes to be accurate but i'll kind of show how to put like how to put this thing on so let's first of all get i'm not gonna be putting on the elbow because everybody knows how that's done so close this box up do that probably gonna put it on the ground actually one second okay so this is how it's supposed to be done so 
we have the tool itself and we have the screw here there's supposed to be a screw with a seal on the bottom of it it goes in this hole here and on the tool there is a hole here oops there's a hole here and if we line this up like this I <laughs> the only thing I found lying around like in the second is this bit here which I'm, I'm actually surprised that I found it and it looks like this you put the elbow here and you put a vacuum attachment so it can suck up all the debris so that's pretty cool to be honest but unscrew this right now so we can uh, this tool is a part of the X12 uh, 20 volt series batteries so uh, it can be used with multiple tools like the drill, the impact gun, a lot of them uh, the hot glue gun but one second uh, I'm gonna get the tool, uh, the battery my bad and we'll go over it okay so i got the battery here fully charged and place it in its spot here and it uh so let's go over the tool itself so this is the tool here front side name And here are the levels of power. From goes from one to six. I'm pretty sure. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is the max level. Uh, it has an LED light on the front of it for, like, seeing. Uh, on the camera, actually, notice it's more like blue, but in real life, it's yeah. You can see here. It's it's white um yeah that's pretty much it we have front uh from the top here is the on and off switch we have the place to release and put the attachments and we have some stuff here which are not really that interesting but you can pause them if you want some specifications and yeah that's about it so we're gonna put some attachments and see how it goes right now. So, oh wait, what did the put? Yeah, the box is right here, right here, I didn't even see it. So, the first thing I wanna do is sand a piece of wood because it's kind of like the... I don't know, I just wanna do it. So, uh, we're gonna do it without the vacuum like I said, because... Yeah. So how is how you're supposed to do it? This Pro I'm gonna zoom in for this one just so you can see better. Okay, so on this tool there's one, two, three, four, five, six like spokes that come out here, and when you lift up this lever all the way like the shaft here goes up with this nut here and there is a space for this to go in here but first i actually have to remove the sandpaper so you can see better so we have to align this like put it right there and you have to put yep like that and put yep there we go Put the holes uh, in each spoke but um, it's not gonna go in all the spokes because it's made for different angles you know so we're gonna go on the first level here let me zoom out one second there we go and we have a sander basically and now i have a piece of wood here 
if I can show you. We have a piece of wood here. And I think... Uh, one second. I don't know where the other wood uh, piece of wood is, but we're gonna draw with this one, I guess. So, turn the two on and just go, gonna go like this. But the thing is, you need to go into like speed three or two. Let's just try two. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, we have to, this is kind of like a harder material, so maybe four. Yeah, it's still, like this is, this is material is pretty tough. Let me try with a softer material and then we'll get back. Okay, so I came back with this one. This one is a lot better, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just try it out, I guess. So, speed 3. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. The sander function of it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of dust everywhere. But, yeah, that, if you get it, how it works. Like, go like this. And sand easy. So let's change from this attachment to the cutting blade here. This is, so this is how it's supposed to be done. You get the tool here, and in each spoke you put a line the tool and clamp it down. And it's supposed to be tight. Gonna go on the first piece here and to cut a piece of this wood. Like, go on this here. Yeah. Second speed. It's pretty cool. Let's try speed three. Yeah, it works pretty well to be honest. Let's try on this side. Yeah, it works pretty well. Yeah, as you can see, it cuts pretty well through wood. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I think in about a couple of days there will be another video on tool like review. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.